What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different because as you know, when you're in my range of a YouTuber, you know, getting a, a few thousand views every single week on every single video that I upload, you know that I am making millions and millions of dollars and living an absolute life of luxury. I mean, I am just living the YouTube dream, baby. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not how it works. Unless you're like Mr. Beast or Peter McKinnon or some of these bigger YouTubers who are getting mil hundreds of thousands and millions of views, which I'm working on, a video, it's, it's, it's a lot of work for a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of return. So with that being said, I created a Lightroom Master of Editing course, which covers pretty much everything you need to know about Lightroom and editing in Lightroom. It's a very extensive course and is very, very detailed. So I'm going to show you one of the lessons from that course. And if the lesson was interesting and you want some more free lessons, go click the link in the description and check out the course. If you buy the course, then awesome. Love you for that. That actually helps support me and allows me to continue making videos. So without further ado, let's get into the lesson on adaptive profiles. With the introduction of AI, a lot of things have been changing in Lightroom's editing space. And one of those things is adaptive AI profiles. Now what these are is Lightroom's way of applying a profile that almost adjusts based on the image. Lightroom has tons of profiles. If we look here on this image right here, we have Adobe Color, Landscape, Portrait, Standard, Vivid. Now, all of these profiles do the exact same thing to every single image. They're not, they don't vary based on the image and that's the difference of the AI profiles. So for example, let's just do one thing real quick. Let's up the shadows here to get some more details and lower the highlights. Let's bring back some of the features of this image. This is a shot that I took when I was out in the Grand Tetons uh, last year, I believe. Anyways, so let's go and apply the Adobe Landscape. You notice it changes. We'll apply Adobe Portrait, changes again, Adobe Standard. And this basically sets the way that the colors are understood when you're doing your edits. Now I did a whole profile lesson earlier in this course, so go back and check that out if you forgot how they work. However, this one is about the AI profiles. Now on the AI profiles, there's a couple of things to note. They only work on raw or DNG files. They will not work on your JPEGs. And the AI does an analysis of the photo to adjust the tones and the colors of the image. Now every image is different, so it analyzes every single image and it has been trained by thousands and thousands and thousands of images from portraiture to landscapes to pretty much anything you can imagine and it has uh, learned via those images. Now the AI profile will adjust your uh, shadows, your whites, your highlights, your blacks, your curves, your colors. It'll adjust all of these different things. However, it does it all in the back end. So all of your actual adjustment sliders when you go to edit are, un are unchanged. So then you can apply an entirely full edit to an image without having to bring back or lower or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? It applies an entire beginning edit onto an image and then you edit your image. So it's kind of cool. Um, I have tested it a little bit and it's not 100%, but with AI, everything is a little bit up in the air sometimes. It's getting better and better every day. So let's get into it and go over a few examples and we can see how this works. So with this image, let's reset everything. So we're just gonna press reset and we're going to adjust the crop here. And the first thing we're going to do is simply set the AI profile. So we click on profile, we're gonna to go to adaptive color. There's also adaptive black and white, so you can do that as well, but we're just gonna stick with the color. So with this image here, click Adobe adaptive color and boom. That actually looks pretty, pretty good. It brought back some details here. It added some nice contrast here. It brought back the sky. Here's the before, here's the after. That looks really, really nice. And you'll notice there are no adjustments on any of this. Now we can go in there and do our full edit. We can apply a preset, whatever we wanna to do to really make the image ours. So that is a kind of a cool place to start. I recommend playing around with that and seeing how it works. But let's go to the next image now and see how that works. Let's take a quick pause in the lesson really fast. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Those also really, really help me. In addition, if you wanna get my Lightroom Master of Editing course, I will link it in the description. I'll also put a 15% discount code there. So if you use it, you'll at checkout, you'll get a nice little discount and then you'll be set for life on Lightroom. 
This is a, a course that I'm constantly putting out new videos as Lightroom's edited, constantly adding new full edits. Just, I'm always adding to this course. And honestly, it's a really good course. I put a lot of time into it and it will really help your editing skills, whether you're a beginner or professional. Besides that, let's get back into the lesson. Here's the next image we're gonna do. This is up in Yellowstone. So let's go ahead and click on the profiles and do adaptive color. And okay. It looks okay. It looks a little faded, but again, I think we just fixed that with the haze because there was a lot of fog, as you can see this fog here, and it was really mucking up the clarity of the view. So this is not actually bad. Uh, let's, let's try something here. Let's go ahead and do Adobe Color. Okay, good. So you notice it's kind of pale. It's, um, if you're starting off at a very base image, almost raw. So there's, there's the raw and there's, there's the before, there's the after. They look about the same. Let's do the adaptive color. Here's the before, here's the after. So it looks like it's giving you a little bit more dynamic range to work with. So that's a really nice thing to do. So that works pretty good. Um, so let's go into the next image where we do one, uh, portraiture one. Here's the final image we're gonna apply this to and let's test this out. So let's go ahead and throw on adaptive color and let's see what it does. Ooh. All right, that looks pretty good. Here's the before, here's the after. Kind of cleaned everything up, added more contrast between the subject and the background, made the, the greens a little bit more rich. See it turn them green rather than orange. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, let's look at the hair. No, it kind of, it added, definitely added green into the image. That I'm not 100% sure that I like. I think I would adjust that. But yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better just by adjusting the white balance. That looks a little nicer. And then we could adjust the, bring back some exposure, drop some highlights, raise the shadows, whites. Yeah, there we go, blacks. Good, clarity, beautiful, dehaze. And there we go, before, after. Now the adaptive black and white is gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be black and white. So if we go to profiles and just go to adaptive black and white, it looks pretty good. And then we adjust as needed. So that one, we're not gonna go too much over because again, it's black and white. So it's really making sure your contrast is there, your whites are good, your blacks are good, and making sure the image is simple enough that it looks good as a black and white to make sure that there's not too much clutter or too much clashing elements in the image to make a good black and white. So in summary, try your adaptive profiles, see if they work. If they don't, use the standard profiles, but you might find that your edits are a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier starting with the adaptive profiles than starting with the regular standard profiles. But that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next video. So that's it for that sneak peek into one of my lessons in my Lightroom Master of Editing course. One, I hope you learned something. This is, the adaptive profiles are pretty freaking cool. I've used them for a little bit now and they seem to work fairly well. There are some images that do not work well on them, but you'll know it when you apply to it, you'll see it immediately. Other than that, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to go check out my Lightroom Master of Editing course linked in the description. And I'll also put two videos up here that you might find interesting. And that's it. See you in the next video.